Hi everybody, it's Carla. It's Monday morning. I hope everyone's having a great week ahead. And uh, it's pretty and sunny where we are in Alabama, but the temperature is definitely dropping. Still no rain here. We're in almost two months of a drought, so it'll be nice if the rain comes in pretty soon. I wanted to show you a little baby that I have been working on for the past several days. Um, I took my inspiration from Sally off of Nightmare Before Christmas and um, yeah I just kind of wanted to make her as a little baby and so uh, the kit I had you might recognize it but I made it a little bit different this is the Celeste kit by Cindy Musgrove and if you notice right there where her lower lip is on her kit and then she has the tongue I turned the tongue and her upper lip into her actual lips and then I um, colored in the other part so it looks like she's just got little uh, chunky baby fat under her mouth right there and uh, I wanted to just give her a real pretty little pouty mouth and I thought that would be sweet she doesn't have a magnet because I just want to keep her for um, display and to uh, keep her pretty red lips showing so I also wanted to show you she's got red fingernails I'll move out of the shadow there and she's got red toenails and they're um, not tipped but they are glossed uh, her little nostrils are glossed the inner and outer corners of her eyes are glossed and of course her lips are glossed and the inside of her mouth but I thought she turned out very pretty now how I did this kit I paint with the air dry acrylic paints and I um, I didn't do a base coat for the skin because she was going to be this uh, shades of blue is what I envisioned her as so I um, modeled uh, her skin one layer with uh, one mixture of blue and then I did a pinkish purple uh, modeling layer over that and then back with another layer of a different uh, mixed shade of blue and then back with another pink and purple modeling layer I did that for quite a few layers and um, then for her eyes and her lashes these aren't rooted lashes they're just painted on she's got little lined eyes I went on a, a Google search and pulled up any images I could find of Sally and uh, of course it's her as an adult so it's hard to you know translate that onto a baby but I got her little um, stitch marks I got her eyelashes and how her eyes were shaded off of looking through those Google images and um, yeah she's got stitches on her hands and up her arms she's got them on her legs and tops of her feet and she's got a little lovey here she's got a little Christmas uh, clown bear and I thought that would be cute with her colors this is a little thrifted dress that we had found before and um, it's very cute she's just wearing a diaper I don't have a diaper cover on her but I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that another interesting thing I did I didn't have any rooting needles and I also my hands have really been bothering me uh, so I didn't really want to root so what I did was I had some stuffed uh, Hello Kitty big stuffed animals and I uh, took a bow off of one of them one of the big puffy bows and through the back I put a slit in the bow and I um, got a weft of hair and put a rubber band around the end of it slipped it up in that uh, uh, slit opening and stitched it shut and then I used E6000 glue to glue this bow and the hair extension onto her vinyl uh, I kept it overnight and I put two rubber bands around her head crisscrossed it across the middle here and um, under her chin behind her ears and it held it good and tight so today it's just a very strong bond onto uh, the vinyl so she's got a little wisp of hair now this was a um, uh, Halloween wig and it was for the little character Brave and um, I just thought I, I bought the wig with the intention of rooting hair but since I wanted to get her done and uh, like I said I wasn't able to root right now I thought this would be a cute way that I could get her fixed up and she's weighted very nicely 
and she's stuffed with new polyfill and she's just a very cuddly cuddly baby I love these little frog legs that she has but yeah I just wanted to say if anybody gets the um, Celeste kit some people really love it and some people the little mouth the way it's shaped with the tongue sticking out it just kind of uh, they that doesn't appeal to them and um, you can change it up you can envision it in a different way and um, turn the baby into an alternative baby and you can change some of these kits around and uh, make them truly yours and uh, yeah and you can just make do with what you have so again these are all the air dry acrylic paints and then her final matte finish uh, was by the um, ultra matte varnish that I get from Hobby Lobby the Americana decor ultra matte varnish and it comes out perfect and for her um, gloss of her lips and nails and her nose and eyes that's the um, folk art artist varnish and uh, that never gets sticky it never gets tacky it always uh, shines up perfectly and you use just a little bitty dab I mean I, the bottle I've got is probably two years old and I haven't used um, a capful so it's and I think it's like $2.99 at Michael's or um, hmm, Hancock Fabrics or something. I'm not sure where I got that at. But uh, yeah, they don't sell that at Hobby Lobby. But I wanted to show you the little baby dress for Christmas. And again, this uh, was inspired by Sally off of Nightmare Before Christmas. And I hope you like her. Um, she's got really pretty shading to her skin. Um, she had so much color going on I didn't do anything with the uh, the creases and that it's just she's just modeled all over and just very very pretty and then she's got some darker blue around her eye under her eye uh, in the little divot under her nose down by her chin and under her chin for the chin line and I think that gives her some dimension and gives her some more personality to her color so this is little Sally, and I hope you like her, and she is the Celeste Kit by Cindy Musgrove. So thanks for watching, and uh, I appreciate everyone that takes time to look at these videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I hope your weekend ahead is wonderful as well. Bye.